Good morning and happy Sunday. I just thought I would uh, jump on the video and chat a little bit about style, art style, painting style, signature style, any type of style. <laughs> um, so I, uh, when I first started abstract, I, I really wanted, I think all artists want to be known. They want to be recognized. They want people to say, oh, that's Kira Gilmore did that. Um, you know, I can tell from a mile off she did that. We all want that. Well, I think we all want that. I mean, I wanted that, so <laughs> maybe you don't want it. I don't know, but there's a lot of people that have been downloading my uh, PDF on the six secrets to unlocking your unique artistic style. So I'm presuming that people do want to know more about it. Um, so if you haven't already done that, you'll find that free PDF um, if you go to the link in my bio in Instagram, or if you uh, join my uh, art group, my art community on Facebook, that's Level Up Your Art. Uh, you can just um, download it from the announcements there. And uh, so anyway, yes, yeah, so let's talk about style, yes because there is there seems to be quite a lot of pressure and whether we put that on ourselves in fact i think we solely put it on ourselves uh, to develop a style so that we can you know it's part of being recognized as an artist and it also contributes to uh well galleries love style don't they they love consistency and they love um uh collectors that um collectors love being able to identify your work and they love to be proud to say, oh, I have a such and such an artist's work and uh, people just know it instantly. So there is, there is a pressure. There, there is a pressure on us to develop our own signature style. So what I wanted to talk to you about really today is it's kind of the pressure because, you know, it's something that you can't rush and you kind of have to you kind of have to just go with the flow and embrace it. There are strategies that you can you know, partake in to help you get there as quickly as possible. Um, and I've mentioned those in my PDF. But what I have to say is one of the most important things that you really need to do is to trust your instincts, your gut, your intuition, whatever you want to call it, because that's how I paint. You know, what is it? What's your heart telling you to paint? What are you feeling? How, uh, what colors are you loving? What strokes, what of your paintbrushes are you loving? What uh, techniques do you do you just love doing? Um, are you, do you love a wedge? Do you love all the lovely translucency you can get when you're using a wedge on your canvas? Do you love blending? Do you love nice soft, um, kind of uh, easy on the eye abstracts? Or do you love strong, uh, powerful, dynamic, dark versus light, um, you know, impactful abstracts. What, what's your heart telling you? What, listen, listen to it. You take your time. And when you are sitting in front of that canvas, uh, mind your self-talk. Don't be uh, listening to any carry on that goes on inside your mind that says, oh, you're rubbish, you can't do this. Um, you've got to do it this way or I'm going I need to have a signature you know stroke in there or a squiggle or a this or a that just ease yourself into your painting and paint with joy and paint with your intuition uh, and once you allow that to flow and you can experiment just allow yourself to be free allow yourself the freedom and the permission to experiment and try lots of different things you don't have to have a style straight off the, the, the bat. You just, you, you need to explore and find out what you love. And what I would advise you to do is in your studio. So you'd be working on the pieces, maybe it's a commission or maybe it's just for yourself or um, could be for a gallery or for your online shop, whatever it is. But in the background, have a canvas that's just sitting there for you to experiment and practice on different, you know, using different things. It's kind of like your um, figuring out my style type uh, canvas or a journal or a sketchbook, uh, something that you can just, if you've got an idea, if your gut suddenly says, oh, I love this, 
you know, write it down or, or uh, write down what you've just done in terms of your process. Um, record what the, the, the colors you use that you love. Um, you know, try out things on your sketchbook, write notes and so that you remember what you've done and what, what it's a record of what lights you up. And that really helps to, for you to kind of um, figure out what it is that you are, um, what you're all about, because your art is a projection, projects, projection, 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 <laughs> can't speak this morning, projection of you. And that's the most important thing. It's you. Nobody else is going to paint like you. It's just you. You know, even if you try to copy one of the masters, you know, you're not going to get it right. You're not going to, it's not going to be like that. You're still going to paint it like you. You have, it's like your fingerprint. <laughs> There's nobody else like you. And it's your time to allow you to come to the surface in your art and to be brave and to just let it flow, see what comes out. may not be that good to begin with. You're not gonna be a master all of a sudden. It takes practice. It could be pretty raw, but that's okay. But embrace what's coming out and allow it to just flow. It's a process. You'll get better and better and better, and you'll learn more and more. And then maybe one day, suddenly this consistent, consistent type of art emergence and you love it and it's easy and it flows and it's you and you're proud of it and people love it and it's it's just a process and you have to trust the process trust your intuition trust your gut so that was a bit waffly but that's just me that's me <laughs> it's a bit like you i'm a waffler and that's okay i've had to embrace it because that's part of me and i'll always be a bit of a waffler so you'll have to just put up with me Anyway, so that is my little Sunday insight. And uh, so I'm wishing you all a lovely day and I hope it's lovely and sunny where you are. It's um, really lovely here. It's so wild the last couple of days. So to see the sunshine and uh, the birds chirping, oh, it's just really lifted my spirits because we're just we're going into another lockdown here in Northern Ireland. So it feels a wee bit bleak at times, but remember whenever we're surrounded by all this negativity, you know, keep your thoughts focused on positive things, on gratitude and on the things that you love and that light you up and stay focused with that. So good luck with your painting this week. Don't worry about producing masterpieces. They will come. Just allow it to come from your heart. All right. Bye bye.